It's as if these teeth can talk. These are replicas of some of the most important fossil skulls in the human fossil record. Anthropologist Peter Ungar uses casts of jaws, teeth, and skulls to study diets of ancient animals and how they have evolved over time. Here's a gorilla skull. And the teeth on this thing are huge. They're also very crusty, which makes them well suited for uh, grinding up and shearing and slicing leaves and other tough vegetation. Ungar and his team at the University of Arkansas study microscopic scratches on thousands of teeth from primates to dinosaurs. Eating hard things or tough things could be hard work. For years, scientists believed that because early hominids had huge teeth and jaws, that meant their diets were made up of tough stuff like seeds and nuts. But using new tools like these, Ungar can see minute wear and tear. You can see sort of the nice wispy scratches across the surface. Our ancestors were like us. They'd rather eat something soft and tasty than something hard to crack and chew. It seems big teeth and jaws only suggest what they could eat when food was scarce, not necessarily what they did eat when tempting fruits were plentiful. When we look at the microscopic wear on those teeth, it's actually quite rare that we see the heavy pitting one would expect of a hard object feeder. More often, they're sort of light wispy scratches, which is what we see in soft fruit feeders. Check out the wear and tear on the teeth of this human ancestor. Now look at the teeth of this monkey, known to eat hard, brittle foods. Instead of only two or three microns in depth, this is eight. Ungar receives dental casts of fossils from museums all over the world. Take our fossil and just squirt it with this impression material. Casts are also made from live subjects. Ungar says more information about ancient animal diets will help shape understanding of behavior, migration patterns, and evolution. To me, those are like footprints, actual records of something an animal did in life. It's kind of cool to be the first person to see that. It's a new view of the past you can really sink your teeth into. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.